Hey guys, Kyle here to be viewing said tree 0534, the Lloyd Legacy Training Poly Bag. Uh, this poly bag released in 2019 for 5 euro and it could be got in Lego stores. So let's get to review. So the only main figure in this set is Lloyd, which actually isn't Legacy Lloyd and it's pretty interesting. Because if you look, it's actually Sunset Garment on Lloyd with the Legacy Hood, which this is interesting, I guess. This is a very rare torso in like printing now because obviously since the guy run is such in high demand and it's retired. But yeah, this is a really cheap way to get the suit. Which if you remove the hood, you can just see it's Lloyd's normal movie face, which for some reason my version it's just stuck on. You can't pull it off, which that's great to see at least. Putting the hood back on. As you can see as well, his only accessory is a silver machete without the little tassel or I think that's what it's called, a tassel. The thing that clips onto the bottom, which yeah, that's what you with that. Removing that to get a better look at the torso. You can see it's got, oh it's not reflective, but as you can see it's just got a gold and a black symbol there. As well as some ninja, very small ninja gun writing and a belt print as well, which does not wrap around. Uh, but it does continue at the back, which if you remove the hood to get a better look at the symbol, you can see there. I think it's a variation of Master Wu's symbol. Uh, I'm not too sure, uh, but yeah. As you see as well, the legs, they just got some printing there too. But not too much to say about this. This is a really, I guess, good surprise because I don't own Sons of Garment on Lloyd. And now all I'm missing is the hood from Sons of Garment on Lloyd. And I have it complete, so yeah, that's pretty cool. But anyway, let's take a look at the main build of this set. Which, taking a look at the belt, it's a training dummy. I mean, not too much to say about that. You can spin the blades. Which, just fall over there, but yeah, you can just spin the blades. It's a very simple build. Just uses those slope pieces. As well as some round pieces there. And a br fully brown head, which you do get in other sets, but not too much. So I guess it's pretty good to get here. As well as that. But, the main play feature you get is this spinny thing that you got in the also the earlier legacy ways which if i just attach lloyd to it uh, you can see it just fits on like that which this one's bent for some reason i don't know why it's not straight but you can just go like that which yeah the the setup here is very <laughs> limited so he just keeps bashing off but the whole thing is that you're meant to spin him up against the blades and obviously it spins which, if we actually remove that, you can see it's a very nice printed piece, which, if I can focus. Focus. Yeah, as you can see there, it's just a very nice symbol, which is kind of reflective. I'm not too sure what the symbol is of, though. I think it's one of Lloyd's, not too sure. But yeah, let's take a look at the instructions. We're checking the instructions, not too much to say about this, which has the, like, the box there, like, sideways for some reason. I don't know why that's there. But unfortunately, there's no ads for this. This was pretty early legacy, so I guess they weren't trying to spoil the whole wave. But yeah, let's take a look at the packaging and find out a verdict. So let's take a look at the packaging. There's not too much to say about it. It's just got the Ninjago Legacy logo. As you can see, you just got Lloyd. And the main feature of the set. We're taking a look at the back. Again, it's just what you expect from Polybag, the black back, so not too much to say about this. But overall, I would say this is worth it. This is very much worth it. I got this for, I think I want to say 4 euro maybe? It was really cheap and it was very surprising, especially for that Lloyd, obviously, torso and light printing, which is pretty expensive on its own. But yeah, I would say if you can get this for pretty cheap, go ahead, even if you don't like the set, if you just don't have... The Sons of Garment on Lloyd, I would say just get it, it's pretty good. All you'll be missing is the uh, the attachment for the katana holders and the mask, obviously. But yeah, I not too much else to say about it. Uh, but for LEGO reviews on the channel, I guess, some mini updates. Um, I'm not really sure where to go from here now because I don't really have that much sets to review until June 1st. Although there is a Legacy Kai poly bag coming soon, which... Very similar to this one, I won't spoil it too much, but it's also Legacy, uh, and it's also a dragon, so if you kind of get the hint, you'll probably know what polybag that is. But yeah, not too much else to say. Uh, yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one.